What's up, everybody? It's me, Mr. Motherfucking Happy, making this good old video on our Wednesdays. Y'all let me go a whole Wednesday and make a video, and then, like, I made a video on Sunday, and you can't even hear it, and ain't nobody comment or tell me that you can't hear it, but hey, whatever. So, <laughs> all right, so today, this is five things. Well, not five things. Let me just give a few tips on keeping your motivation for your weight loss journey, because at this point, now... I'm getting there, you know, my number changing, that plateau is starting to go down, but you can also, you just got to work with it, and you got to make sure that you stay focused, so focus number one is we got to set a goal, you got to have goals, you got to have targets, and you got to make sure you're aiming to reach those goals, so yeah, I can say, yeah, I want to lose weight, but if I don't know how much weight I want to lose, then like, what am I working towards? So set a goal and give yourself a number. If it's 5 pounds, 10 pounds, or 2 pounds, just give yourself a number and give yourself time to reach that goal and make it realistic. So make yourself, uh, set yourself a realistic goal. All right, so that's one. Number two, we got to do things to actually reach that goal. So yeah, you want to lose weight. Yeah, you wrote on the paper. Well, excuse me, you didn't write on paper. You just said, I want to lose weight, and that's what I'm going to do. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to set that goal and we're going to put it in motion and put it on paper. When you put something on paper, you become accountable. And this sounds crazy, but it's... And I always watch it on TV like, whatever. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. But that's not true. If you write something down, it is something about some ink. I don't know what it is. I was about to show you all a pen, but I ain't got one. But let's just say this paper, this mail. It's something about this mail and this letter that's in here that makes you open it and read it. Same thing for your weight loss. It's something about that ink or when you put it on a calendar and it pops up on your phone. It's something that triggers you to be accountable for what you're doing. And that's that's one of the, I mean, once you get that step, the rest is going to fall into place. The third step to it is to do. Just go for it. Go for it and just start. Like, start to go. Like, for me, posting YouTube videos, I took forever to post YouTube videos. And then one day I just decided I'm going to just start posting it. And then you guys watch, which is cool. But at the end of the day, you got to actually do it. So you're going to write down. I mean, excuse me, you're going to set a target. You're going to write down that target. And then you're going to achieve that target because you're going to go through your steps. So if you done wrote down, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. Now you got to figure out how are you going to lose these 10 pounds and actually do it. So if it takes you adding walking to your day, for instance, everybody, even though we all get up and walk and yeah, we go to the bathroom, yeah, we walk to work, we walk to break rooms and cafeterias, but that's not really walking in regards to burning calories walking. That's just, I mean, that's day-to-day -day life. You're not really burning extreme calories today, or you're not really burning a lot at all. You're maybe, I mean, you're just walking this functional day-to-day, -day. but if you literally dedicate 30 minutes a day to walking, that helps your health. But if you dedicate an hour a day to your workouts where you take the time to do your cardio and do a little bit of lifting, and it doesn't have to be a lot of lifting, it can be light, like really light, just stuff to tone you up as you're losing. Because as you build that muscle, that muscle is going to burn that fat more so than that cardio will. Because if you stop that cardio, you know, you're not losing weight no more. But if you stop that lifting, by the, the time you got the muscles, you know, the time you got them, it's going to burn some fat for you. So, that's something to think about when we're doing our um, weight loss journey. So, those are just three simple steps to help you lose weight. And then my last one is you have to lean on support of others. Even though it doesn't always seem like you have support, there's somebody out there who wants to support you. I support you. Me. Lean on me. Just be like, you know what, Mr. Motherfucking Happy, let's talk about it. I'm doing this today. And this is just not working for me. And I'll give you my pointers that I have. And you can give me pointers when I have it. And then also there's things you can do where you have to humble yourself a little bit. Because everybody doesn't want to join like groups and weight loss groups. And I know I'm here in Atlanta. So there's a lot of things here for me. But if you're in like some small towns, you may not have a lot of different resources. But you always have a church. You can always talk to somebody there and let them know like this is what I'm going through. Their job, I mean it's the church. They're supposed to support you. So, like, you can always do that. If that's not your belief, it's always something and someone you can talk to and just vent about it and get it out there. And then you can go online and find different supports as well if you're not comfortable talking to family and stuff about it. And in all honesty, sometimes family isn't the best people to talk about your weight loss struggles because they may be the reason why you're fat and you don't even know it. 
So it's just like, let's go ahead and just, just go through the motions with it. So we're gonna do it, and we're gonna we're gonna get that weight off of you. So plain and simple, I gave you some steps, and it was four. And the first thing I said was we're gonna set a goal. Second thing I said we're gonna write it down. Third thing is we're gonna achieve it. And fourth thing is we're gonna lean on the support of others. And it's that simple. It's those four things can help you in your weight loss journey. And it can also help you in your life journey. Just making sure that you're able to do things and move forward in a better way than what you may be doing now. And that's not to say that you're doing terrible. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we all set targets. We all have goals. But when you put those things in your face and you write them down, that writing equals accountability because you can't, you can't erase that. Don't write it in pencil. But you can't really erase it. So let just let yourself know, like, body, we got to get it together. Shit, this is not okay. We got to get this body together. And if you can do that, you'll be good to go. And like I said, just start. And it, and I'm going to always use this as an example for you two. Like, I had no interest, but other people had interest. And then I like helping others, and I've done so much at this point, and I'm still not done. So as I'm learning, you guys are learning with me. And as you learn, I learn with you. So we're going to keep this going. But just make sure you do it. And if y'all have, and if you need that support and there's no one there that you feel you can really talk to and vent about it, like I said, just send me an email. Send me a face, not a Facebook, but send me a um, comment about it. And then I'll definitely talk to you about it and I'll help you to the best of my ability and in my skill set. But that's just where we are with that. Now, everybody, I finally created the Instagram and the Snapchat, but they created, but there's nothing on them yet, so I got to get them right, but I created them, so just know they're coming to you soon, and as usual, I'll put links in the bottom of the videos for you guys to click on if you need, like, some resources and things like that, and, like, don't be afraid to use those programs, like Weight Watchers and stuff like that, because everybody has to learn, and just because you see things online doesn't necessarily make them right for you. Like I said, I'm telling you what works for me and my body type. And you may have my body type, so what I do may work for you. But you may need some adjustments and some tweaks in there that, you know, YouTube or nobody else online can provide for you until you actually know it. So make sure that you look into that. All right? But as usual, I thank you guys for rocking with me. It is Mr. Motherfucking Happy. Video is on deck. Watch everything else. Uh, yeah, thank you. And I'm out.